Hi, so there's been a few comments about why am I wasting my time doing this kind of thing when really I should be concentrating on batteries and supercapacitors. And um, well, they're fair enough and, and valid comments as far as they go. But I used to see energy or the energy problem as being uh, one thing. And of course, you know, you get trapped in your own little box for a while. And of course, that's what you see. And I saw the energy problem all about storage. I would think that we'd have renewables if we had cheap enough storage. Uh, everything would be better if we could get higher energy density batteries. And that was the way I saw things and not unreasonably so. But then, of course, your ideas develop because when you're working on something, it's kind of like a muscle. The creativity takes practice. And as you create and practice creating, you build up that sense of creativity. And it's the same thing at looking at things. As you look at things and you work on things, your ideas develop. It's just the way there is. And it occurred to me that actually the energy problem was a bit broader than just storage. So I started to think of energy generation and energy storage as being two sides of the same coin. That we had a problem with energy generation based on traditional methods of burning stuff and how because now there were seven to eight billion of us, we couldn't continue burning the planet. So there was a problem on energy had two sides. And for quite a while, that's how I thought of it as well. And it's funny, as your ideas develop, you feel almost embarrassed about the stuff you used to think before, because it does seem a little sort of um, naive, to be honest. So anyway, nowadays what I think is that the energy problem in fact has a number of sides. Yes, energy generation. Yes, energy storage. But there's also energy use. That is how we use it. Now we have come from a period when there was a relatively abundant energy. And if you wanted something, well, hell, you stuck a motor on it and it did it. And we didn't worry about those kind of things. But air conditioning actually accounts for something like 20% of all electrical energy use in buildings and 10% of all global electrical use. That's huge. I mean, an absolutely enormous amount of energy just to move hot and cold air. Incredible, really, when you think about it. Now, I suspect, of course, that people um, don't because this a degree of it's invisible in the box to us that we don't really think about it. But that amount of energy being used to do something without being rude, that trivial, it just astonishes me. So when I was looking at air conditioning, I was looking at air conditioning as part of that overall view, in fact, that I have of things. I consider the world to be in an energy problem, and I consider me to be working on that energy problem. So when we're having fun building an air conditioner, don't forget, this thing runs off half a watt, and it's comparable to something that runs off 10 watts. I might not sound a lot, but that's 20 times less the amount of power. So we could run 20 homes using this, as opposed to one home using an equivalent fan. That's just astonishing if you think about it. So looking at different things and coming up with different solutions for how we might deal with our energy consumption, as well as our energy generation, as well as our energy storage, if you look at that, you'll see that, in fact, there is a consistent message throughout the channel. Now, obviously, I'm concerned that this ought to be approachable. And it needs to be fun. You need to do something that is just a, a laugh to do. You can't be serious all the time. Oh boy, would you get fed up. So there's a big element of fun there as well. And that kind of stuff is really important when it comes to working with these kind of things. But anyway, I got those comments. I felt they really deserved a reply. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it explains a little bit more about the way I'm looking at things and doing these things. And thank you very much for watching.